You see this clutch spring? Throw it away. Hi everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. All right, I recently made a video on my four month ownership of this GR86, my 2022 GR86. And in the video, I basically said I love this car. And I do love this car. Uh, but there's one thing I forgot to mention is that I'm having a little trouble with the clutch. All right, so what it is is that clutch engagement does not feel natural to me. It's a very light clutch, it feels good, except for when you first use the clutch, it seems very light, there's very little feel, and then it progressively gets stiffer as you push it into the firewall. I've had a lot of trouble in doing really smooth shifts, especially when I'm trying to just slowly take off from a light. Uh, if I'm slamming the gears, there's no problem, but any kind of finesse, it seems to me that I'm either engaging clutch a little bit at too high RPM or too low it's been a little bit tough to get used to now it's been four months so I should be used to it by now but I still find myself making uh, some mistakes when I'm trying to engage clutch now in the previous generation there was a spring that could be changed out for the clutch and that could reduce the effort on the clutch and make it more linear instead of easy hard more linear and I'm thinking that that's available probably for this car as well the GR86 however what I want to try today is to remove the spring entirely and see if that brings back a more linear feel to the clutch I'm going to take out the spring today the clutch spring I'm going to show you how to do it and I'm going to tell you what I think about it and if you should do it as well first of all let's look at what I'm talking about here Okay, let's go down, let's go way, way down. Now, of course, for you teenagers, this will be like a revelation. This is the gas pedal, this is the brake, and this pedal, I don't think you've ever seen it before, this is the clutch, okay? So let's take a look upstairs here. Way up, look up, look way, way up, way, way up. Okay, can you see that right here? That is a spring that when you push down the clutch, I'll push down the clutch, when you push down the clutch, you can see the spring expanding. Now, first of all, you can see that as you begin to press the clutch, the spring just moves sideways. It doesn't really expand. And then as you get into pushing the clutch, the spring expands and exerts force. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need is a small screwdriver. You can see there's a little C-clip. You can see that right there, right there. Best way to remove that C-clip is that there's a little slot you can get your screwdriver in and just lever it out. And also, once you get this loose, it's gonna go flying. So be ready for that. Uh, I've got my pick tool here. I'm just gonna get in there and pull it out, which I just did. Okay, using a pair of pliers to just get the pin out the rest of the way. There we go. There, got the pin out. You do not want to lose this C-clip. Now that I've got the pin out, the spring can be removed uh, somehow. Okay, using brute force, I've got uh, this part of the spring out. And the spring itself is out. The spring is out. And the pedal feels about the same. But right now, the spring is out. Let's take this car for a ride, see if there's any difference. Okay, just to recap, I have removed the clutch uh, assist spring, if you will, and now I'm gonna go on a test drive to see how it feels and see uh, if it's worthwhile doing for anybody else. Okay, here we go. Okay, the clutch pedal feels about the same amount of resistance as before. Okay, let's go. Whoa. That's interesting. The clutch disengaged a lot faster than I was expecting, so I actually stalled the car. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it feels actually stiffer at the very beginning of the clutch movement. Okay, I'm ready to give <clears throat> my first impressions of this modification, if you will. Now, I would say that the clutch effort is higher. 
especially at the beginning of the clutch movement, is actually higher effort. <laughs> So the clutch is definitely stiffer than stock, uh, especially at the beginning of the movement. The clutch engagement point is the same, which I would have expected it to be the same. And uh, yeah, so basically it makes the clutch feel a little stiffer throughout. And I'd say the main difference is, is that with the stock clutch, with the assist spring, it uh, assists you at the beginning of the clutch movement so it feels very light and then it gets stiffer and without the spring you feel the stiffness all the way through it's the same amount of stiffness to the clutch action as the beginning to the end and I think that's where you're gonna say that it's more linear it's the same amount of effort the whole way through okay that was a fun ride uh, let me get out and give you my conclusions. You see this clutch spring? Throw it away. Okay, so here's my conclusions. The clutch spring from the factory assists you, especially when you first start pushing down on the clutch pedal. It makes it feel very light and very easy to push down. And then as you push through, the effort increases. When you remove the clutch pedal spring, the effort is linear. It's the same all the way through, which means at the very beginning, uh, it definitely feels stiffer. Now, I'm thinking that this linear uh, pressure will make it easier to do shifts, especially when you're doing shifts at low speed, uh, say in stop and go traffic, which is where I was having trouble. So right now, I would recommend doing this. There's no downside as far as I can see. The clutch is returning. It has other springs that help it return. This is just an extra assist spring that I'm removing here. So it should be safe. And you might like that more linear feel. Uh, a second option is to get a lighter spring from an aftermarket company like uh, MyTech, MeTech, Mike Tech. No, no Mike Tech. Anyway, you can get a lighter spring which reduces the um, the difference, the softness and then the hardness, it makes it more linear. But of course, having no spring might be the way to go too. And that's the cheapest way. So that's the way I'm going for now. Okay, thanks for watching this video in the continuing series of mods for people that are broke. Mods that are free. There you go. So thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.